Crypto is for suckers. Yes, I'm saying that. I have no problem saying that at all. The video you're about to watch is about crypto. I get very vocal in it. I use a lot of bad language. So if you have youngsters around you, this is, they don't get bleeped out because we don't have ads on our new videos. But the reason I wanted to cre create a new intro was this came out last night after we recorded the video. Crypto exchange Binance will suspend US dollar transfers. Now, all the crypto enthusiasts out there will say, no, 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 it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just this. And what I look at it is, crack of the ice right mo yeah that's not a normal thing to happen yeah this is not i mean this is your money and they're telling you you can't tra i just look at the saying this is just the start of the crack i could be wrong but looking at what happened last year and this guy what's his name cheng, cheng peng zhao he was criticizing ftx rightly so but i don't i'm looking at going okay great what makes you so special so again we're anti-crypto. We think it's all a sham. We think it's snake oil. But this is just part of the cracks that start in bubbles as they start to unravel. And we've seen a large run up in the last few weeks. It's also funny to see that they're spending dollar transfers in a currency or world that you're supposed to have free reign of your and control of your own. Wait a second, Mo. No regulation. I, I don't think you should use logic when it comes to this. My bad. So anyways, enjoy the video. <laughs> If you love crypto, you're probably not going to enjoy this video. If you don't like crypto, you're probably going to enjoy it very much. This is a world very divided, and you know where we stand, and we'll find out in five years where, uh, where it all ends up. Thanks, guys. Bitcoin is a fucking scam, and if you believe in it, then I've got some wonderful snake oil for you to buy from my website, snakeoilformorons.com. Check it out. It's a great place for you to go because you probably believe everything if you believe that suddenly the U.S. government's going to say, cool, competition to our own currency? This is going to be a great idea for the U.S. economy. Guys, crypto in its current form will not stand. If you fucking talk to me about the goddamn fucking blockchain like it's going to save the world, fuck you and your mom. Hmm. Was that blunt enough? Yeah, I think you got the point across. If you're new to our channel and you love crypto, <laughs> please do me a favor, just... Find another video to watch. Find some other moron who's going to be broke that's going to lead you upon a, 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 down a way of sitting there and believing in it. It's all junk. In its current form, it's all junk. If the U.S. government finally decides to say, listen, fine, we'll accept this crypto. It's going to be our official crypto. And all you crypto enthusiasts think you won, you're not going to win. Because even then, they're going to have it attached to the U.S. dollar in some fashion. So the very reason to have crypto, the very, very reason to have it is going to defeat the purpose is going to be defeated by the government backing it. Remember, it was all about decentralization. That's what crypto was about. Now it's becoming all about the blockchain. It's great technology. We don't need crypto to have blockchain technology. If you want to tell me to read a certain article or book to understand crypto, go read the 8,000 books written about value investing that have worked and passed the test of time from 5,000 BC all the way to now. Not really 5,000 <laughs> BC, but you get my point. Crypto is for suckers. Yes, I'm saying that. I have no problem saying that at all. It is the it, crypto and Tesla are the poster children of this bubble. But especially crypto. Especially crypto. Yeah. Crypto has no value to it. If you believe it has value to it, how can 20,000 of them exist? And they're adding thousands. The guy from Dogecoin literally said, I started as a joke. Yeah. I don't know many, I don't know many Fortune 500 companies that were started as a joke. Yeah. Do you? No. I don't know many Fortune 500 companies that started as a joke. And it's funny to see all of these cryptos that just keep crashing and going to zero and going to zero, and they just continuously keep going to zero. Then they invent a new one. Yep. The best, my favorite, was Luna. Luna, scam, goes to zero, Luna 2.0. <laughs> I mean, what more do you need to know? Literally, what more do you need to know? How many crypto exchanges have... And you sit there and say, well, it's because it was... Oh, those idiots. Well, yeah, that's what happens during bubbles. The scams come out. The scams absolutely come out. It's unbelievable when I hear these people defend crypto. Like literally, how dumb do you have to be? How fucking dense do you have to be to really go, oh, let me think here. This has no backing whatsoever. I'm relying on it based on what the average, and by the way, you're the same people who say the society is stupid. Yeah. The same people who say society is stupid love crypto because you're going to sit there and believe society is going to hold its value for it. Now, guess what? I think the government's dumb. I've absolutely said that. 
but at least I have the backing of the U.S. people, the U.S. economy, U.S. government, the military, all these things backing the U.S. dollar. What's backing crypto? Nothing. And they- No, 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 no. Something's backing crypto. Your pimply 17-year-old neighbor who uh, jerks off to the thought of your wife every night, <laughs> he backs crypto. And I'm sure it's wonderful. I'm sure he's going to his Dungeon and Dragons events and he's playing with his friends and he's sitting there talking about all the cool Dungeons and Dragons crypto. There's probably a Dungeons and Dragons crypto, isn't there? Probably. Gosh. You know, it's funny when the El Salvador tried to make this their <laughs> currency. But here's the excuse now. So, like, we laughed at it at the time and now people it didn't work over there it's what are they saying out, turned out extreme now they're like well that was el salvador it wasn't gonna work in el salvador and that was their pump and that was their like big pump up by exactly. the way guys you know what it sounds a lot like communism well in theory crypto would work well great in theory a lot of things work communism works in theory go work as hard as you can every so, single day to get the same amount of money as your neighbor does that work in theory sure now put yourself in that position well, why would I want to do that? All you brats out there complain because somebody makes 13 cents an hour more than you and you think you work harder than them. Okay, what's the difference? Yeah. Crypto works in theory, a decentralized form. Great, just a currency based on what people, awesome. I do believe in that. I absolutely believe that could work in an ideal society. You people out there are the ones that made the US government so powerful that made their currency so powerful. It's not 1776 anymore. <laughs> It's 2023. I'm all about smaller government, but unfortunately that ship sailed a long time ago. And a lot of the funny thing is all the crypto enthusiasts I know, the vast majority are left-leaning people. Although a lot of libertarians are in there and people are always shocked, but I always laugh. I go, wait, you want decentralized government yet you want higher taxes to make government bigger. What do you think is going to happen with your crypto investment? And now they want, yeah, exactly. And now they're calling for, because of all the scams that have come out, they're saying, well, where's the government? Why isn't the government backing stuff? Why aren't they bailing us out? Oh, you want a decentralization? You don't want it. When I hear that, I want to punch them. I'm like, no, you deserve to lose your money. You wanted no regulation. That was the whole goal of crypto. You got it. And now you have to lay in your bed. The Everything Money community has already helped thousands of people exactly like you to help them understand financials, understand investing, and understand the emotional side of everything to make better decisions for your future and your money. What you get with the software is my eight pillar process, our stock analyzer tool, which was used over 1.3 million times in 2022, and all the other stock screeners that the Everything Money community of intelligent investors use to find their value plays. These are the exact tools that Mo and I use every single day to find the investments that make the most sense to us. And you also get access to Mo and I and all the thousands of other and everything money investors so you don't have to do this alone because that is the hardest part about investing is being on your own. Make the choice I made, invest in yourself for a little over dollar a day to make these decisions easier and smarter as time goes on. Here's the catch. We're not going to give you fish. I'm here to teach you how to fish. If you're looking for a magic bullet, we're not the site for you. We're not the channel for you. If you're looking to become a smarter investor who can find their own process, welcome home. Get started now, risk-free for 30 days at everythingmoney.com. If you notice, I cursed a lot here, which whatever, but you're probably wondering why was that allowed? Well, I don't know if you noticed in our last month or so, we've taken off ads from our channel because we want to focus on the content when we would focus on our software. Do I get irate at times? Absolutely. Because I do believe crypto is snake oil. I absolutely believe it's a snake oil. And we're going to look back 20 years from now, people are going to, 10 years from now, people are going to say, yeah, can you believe people bought a currency just because some neighbor is just like, yeah, I do believe it. That's what people do. And every time I hear people complain about all the dumb people out there, I just shake my fucking head. I am thoroughly enjoying what's happening to crypto, though. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Why? Because Rolexes are coming back to the market. Every Rolex dealer I know says crypto's fall hurt their sales. And uh, McLarens are coming back on the market because they, the Bitcoin boys, they are no more. So this is awesome. Thank somebody, you. Somebody wrote on Twitter. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate it. Somebody wrote on Twitter. And by the way, I've gotten very active on Twitter. I just joined a month or so ago, got very active. So follow me on Twitter. Um, somebody wrote on Twitter recently, like, hey, we're all the Bitcoin and crypto fanboys. Where have they been lately? And it's yeah. like, this could blow up my face. I've been saying this for a while. And yes, it's... And, and by the way, if the price does shoot up here again, I'm that not worried about it. justify it. Uh, by the way, 
Go look at our videos from last from October yeah. end of 2021. I was saying it was garbage back then. I was saying it was garbage back then with that ugly face. Yeah. We got real ugly. So Moza trader. Yeah. So you can look at a chart and you can recognize pattern. I didn't even look at this, but you can you can look at these peaks and when when you get these peaks and you get a value like this, so money comes up, or right in purple, money comes up, it sells off a little bit, it comes back. And if you hit that same type of peak, which is at 65,000, usually you're gonna get this trickle down effect. Now this was extreme. This is an extreme trickle down effect, but this is exactly what happens when you get that type of pattern. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen in Bitcoin or crypto in the next six months or a year, but my guess is long-term, if it does succeed, it will not be in the same state it's in right now. It'll be a heavily regulated, very few of them out there left. And by, I still believe that Bitcoin, even if it's one that survives, will be a lot lower than it is today. Yeah, look at India has banned it. China's banned it. Look at all these major governments that have banned this thing. It's just a matter of time. The U.S. government's not going to like competition themselves. Nope. They've, I mean, you already have Jerome Powell out there speaking about a new digital currency to add to the dollar. What do you think it's going to be? And I know behind closed doors, is just like, let's just give the idiots what they want. Yeah. They'll figure out a way to make money on it. They'll be happy. And that's what they should do. They should do it. Yep. Make should. it off the... Uh, we should. We should have higher taxes on morons. So, um, if you stayed this long, you either really like what I say, so please subscribe, or really hate what I say, so please subscribe so you can talk shit to me in the comments. You know, we have people in our software who love crypto, and I apologize to them. I love them very much. And I understand it's... Very alluring because you see these prices, but guys, there's no value in its current form. Thanks very much for your time. Take care.